Yo, yo, it's your boy Jay Boogie back with another video today. Today, I'll be doing a special video of no other than my GOAT of my generation, of my childhood. No other than Kobe Bean, Black Mumba Bryant, Froby Bryant. And, you know, pretty much, I'm going to be talking about who's the better version. Is it a Froby Kobe, number eight? Or is it the Black Mama Kobe number 24? And pretty much, you know, both Kobe's were special in their own way. Both were champions. You know, they, they were just complete dominant in, in many ways and the aspects of their game. So, make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe under this video. Make sure to stay tuned throughout this video. There's going to be some detailed stuff about both Kobe's. Let's get into it. So, the first version of Kobe, number eight, Froby Kobe, pretty much a kid, came out of high school um, from Philadelphia, and then pretty much came to Lee Rod the Gay, pure athletic, pure raw athlete. Um, you know, pretty much the version of Kobe, you know, pretty much already had the right mentality of winning attitude, wanted to learn, wanted to be better. And then he learned from no other than the man himself, MJ, Michael Jordan, and he carried those lessons throughout his earlier his career. And then, you know, pretty much then, just within his second season, he became an all-star under uh, playing, uh, playing with, along with other all-stars of Nick Van Exel, Eddie Jones, and no other than the Diesel, Shaq. And pretty much, man, you know, this version of Kobe was just jumping out the gym, per athletic. Um, you seeing this clip right now. All this, pretty much this whole clip is just based off some great alley you catches, dunks from uh, Kobe Bryant. Uh, obviously, he was number eight. You see how athletic he was in this clip. And, you know, pretty much, you know, Kobe was just, he wasn't in this offensive bag deeply just yet. Obviously, this clip is from, you know, later seasons. But when he, when he got to the league, he was just, you know, it was like more of just like you just saw like a younger MJ, not the 80s MJ, like Gibber Arenas, Gibber Arenas would say, but, you know, pretty much just raw athletic, you know, offensive game, you know, he can score the ball, put the ball in the basket, but he has to work his, you know, way to get in the offensive bag. And then, honestly, like I say, seeing this clip, man, this is a phenomenal alley you dunk to see how high his vertical was, just uh, jumping off two feet, one feet. And, you know, pretty much, I mean, this is peak Froby Kobe, athletic ability. You know, like I say, jumping out the gym, out this world. And, you know, pretty much then moving on to his offensive bag, you see in this clip, I think it's from his 2000, 2001 season, um, pretty much during the um, second peep. Um, you know, pretty much you see now his mid-range game has gotten more fluid, more efficient. You know, he's more confident, always been confident, but now he's more confident into making those shots, taking those shots. And, you know, pretty much, man, you know, a lot of people don't know this about Kobe Bryant, but during the 2000 All-Star Weekend, he was asking Gary Payton for some defensive advice, defensive, you know, tips. You know, ways to be better, ways to guard other defenders at different angles, better angles, knowing other player weaknesses and stuff. And then ever since then, Gary Payton has, you know, helped him out during the All-Star Weekend. Kobe made what I think I want to say six straight All Star uh, All Team defensive All Defensive teams six straight seasons. You know, pretty much the number eight Kobe man. That's when he pretty much became a complete two way player. Um, ever since then, you know, ever since he asked Gary Payton for advice during the 2000 All Star weekend. So shout out to Gary Payton, the glove, one of the best defenders ever of all time in basketball history. And you know, pretty much. Um, Kobe Bryant, man, like I said, uh, number eight was just, like I said, pure entertainment, raw, athletic, you know, offensive bag has gotten better throughout the years, you know, especially pretty much right after um, they won the first championship against the Indiana Pacers, him and Shaq. And then you even see then in the finals against the Pacers, you see it, uh, you know, his mentality evacu activated even more to take over games. I think when Shaq got fouled out, I don't know if it was game six in the NBA Finals or game five. I can't remember which one. Then you see how Kobe just took over that fourth quarter with ease and with poise. And, you know, it was just he was on the man on the mission. And, you know, pretty much Kobe Bryant was just just obviously right off the gate. You knew this dude had, had a heart of a champion. 
And this dude mentality was up to none, relentless, adventurous, just like Michael Jordan. But, you know, I'm not here to compare it to Kobe and Andre. It's all about Kobe, obviously. So, um, I say you already seen this clip, man, how, you know, deeply he's gotten the offensive bag, how better he's scoring the building. He's got in terms of shooting, taking his shots, no, no, no one went to pull up and things like that. And, you know, pretty much moving on to the best season of number eight Kobe. Some say it's 0203. Some say it's 0506. It's really both. But personally, I would say it's an 05 06 season where dude averaged 35 points per freaking game. That's insane, bro. Then, this is when zone defense was implemented, heavily used back then in the mid 2000s. And Kobe just, you know, pretty much it was post Shaq era. And, you know, pretty much, man, Kobe was just on the man on the mission even more to prove that he can carry his team, prove he could be the man of his own. In terms of uh, leaning team the way, and in this season, man, you seen this clip, man. Dude was just out of his world, man. Just, just scoring back offensively, he was just three point shots got better, mid range game more lethal. You know what I mean, dude was just Kobe. Kobe number eight was more like a guy that's like, you know, I'm young, but I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to get better, but I'm ready to win. And then obviously as a three peak, you know, the fight up between him and Shaq, and then. During the 04 05, so it was the only season when he missed the playoffs in that stretch of his problem in his career. And then, obviously, in this club bounce back season, you know, this dude could have won MVP, but they gave to Steve Nash in the 05 06 season. But Kobe was deep in his back offensively, man. Scoring wise, he was just unstoppable. Like I said, mentally, you know, he was just like, okay, I missed the playoffs. Now I'm coming back with ventures. You know, I'm just proving myself. That I can do this, but now I'm proving the world as well. Like, okay, like y'all forgot, you know, I'll just the same dude the season before when, you know, so I mean, Kobe, like I'll say during the 05 or 06 season, man, this is arguably to me his best season performance wise. But if you can say 02 03, you know, because him and T Mac that season was neck to neck, and and him, him, KG, and T Mac, they were always like neck to neck in terms of winning MVP that season, but. I think Tim Duncan won MVP that season, I believe. And, um, you know, like I said, man, this version of Kobe, man, you, you cannot deny anything about him. You know, like I said, unfortunately, he didn't win, you know, um, uh, any, uh, ooh, <laughs> brain fart, my bad. <laughs> Pretty much, you know, he didn't win any, um, championship after Shaq for a few seasons but you know like I said man Kobe was pretty much man was just deep in his bag in that 05 or 06 season and my goodness what he did to the Phoenix Suns in the playoffs went up 3-1 but obviously they blew that lead to Steve Nash you know but still man Kobe was pretty much the best player in the world during the 05 or 06 season hands down and pretty much man like I said man just version of Kobe is a fan forever to many like I said it was just more entertaining, more lively. He was, you know, offensively, he was getting better, no doubt about it. So, that's my take on the 05, excuse me, on the Froby, Kobe Bryant. That's my take on that. And then moving on to the Black Mamba era. 24, number Kobe Bryant. You know, pretty much, man, more season. Skill set was more precise fluid, elusive, the footwork, the scoring ability, the post footwork, the post fit, all of that became more seasoned. I think around that time, he was working out with Hakeem Olajuwon, you know, off season. And then, you know, pretty much this verse of Kobe Bryant is definitely another fan favorite. Pretty much, some would say this is the better version of Kobe Bryant. And, you know, pretty much, you know, scoring became more and higher. Um, it's got a little bit more better help bringing on um, with guys like Pau Gasol, bringing back Derek Fisher, and, you know, still having guys like Lamar Odom and a young Trevor Reason and an Andrew Bynum. So he had help, but it wasn't like mega, mega all-stars or superstars. But <clears throat> but um, his brother Kobe Bryant, man, he was just well-seasoned, scoring back, and then obviously, we all know it's MVP season in this clip right here from 07, 08. Man, you see, man, he was just... Kobe Bryant offensively was just gifted. 
as it is, but, but it was he had to work for it. It was natural hard work, and you see how skillful he he's gotten. You know, taking over games, fourth quarter, clutch time, crush time, and you know, Kobe Bryant. You know, eventually on to the next two seasons after the 07-08 season when he lost to NBA Finals against the Celtics, but he won MVP that season. Went on winning next NBA championships during the 08-09 season and then the 2009-2010 season. And, you know, Kobe would still have much left in his tank after that, but unfortunately he tore his Achilles during the 2012-13 season. But moving on back to, you know, the beginning of the Black Mama stage, you know, Kobe Bryant, I think during the 06 07 season, he led, he led the league in scoring again, averaging, I think, 31, 32 points per game. And, you know, pretty much, man, this Kobe Bryant, she's obviously my fan favorite. Just because, like I said, he's well seasoned, the post full work, the fadeaways, um, how quickly he developed and matured his game all around offensively and defensively. He was still making on the defensive team during the Black Moment era. So pretty much Kobe was a great, phenomenal two-way player. And, you know, pretty much he's willing to win, crunch moments, ability, and wanted to take over games. And, and his confidence and his, and his um, determination was out this world. And, you know, his version of Kobe is my fav favorite, hands down. And, you know, pretty much um, Kobe, you know, was really, was, was really just on another third mission. <laughs> You know, people like, okay, like, I lost the finals. I went back to the finals. And now the next two seasons, man, he was just completely dominant in terms of winning games and winning championships back-to-back. -back. And, you know, pretty much this version of Kobe Bryant was a big inspiration to me because I brought my Achilles my freshman year in college. And I remember watching the highlight where he brought his Achilles, but he was still managed to walk to the free throw line and make both free throws. And, you know, pretty much, man, I learned a lot from that Kobe Brown from just what he endured and what he had to go through, the injuries, and still managed to adapt to his game and still be dominant as ever. So that's my take on who is the best version of Kobe Bryant. Let me know in the comments who y'all think is the best version of Kobe Bean Bryant. I love you guys. Like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you got to do. Jay Boogie is out.